Hi there, it's Nursing Geek. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Greenhouse SMP, the Steen Rose Patreon server, where I have been working on my sanctuary build, and I'm trying really hard not to show spoilers of other people's builds. I probably will after the contest is over. I'm not sure what, what the etiquette is going to be on that, but these are the rules. Claim a plot and build your one chunk sanctuary. The winner will receive a special crown at the end of the month. That's it. Gotta stay within the chunk. And can't dig more than one... You, you can't go more than one block down because then you're into the coral reef. And this is the participation banner, which... Coming back over here, I have one. And it took me a while to decide what mine needed to be. But then I realized, for me, it really, it has to be a reading and writing sanctuary. Because that, that is my sanctuary, is somewhere that I can be doing lots of reading. Like over here. That book looks kind of upside down. I, I, I have not found a good way to deal with that, because there's not a way to hold the book as if it's open. Except, at a lectern. I'm trying so hard not to show other stuff and failing. Um... So that's, those are the two reading me's. And then writing me, one is using, you know, a quill and the other, a computer. Thank you, DSA, for refreshing my memory on how the heck to do a computer screen because I was trying so many weird things and they were, they were not working. Um, so once I had built out these four corners, I had all this room in the middle and uh, ended up coming to the conclusion, okay, well, when in doubt, we're going to fill with some kind of greenery. So I tried like some kind of reflecting pool and it either water went everywhere or it just looked ridiculous, just slapped in there. Um, so yeah, this is, this is what I came up with and I totally forgot to turn on replay mod for the building part um which in some ways is probably just as well because i can only imagine the fun of editing that to try to make it so that the um so that i wasn't showing anybody else's stuff so let's get this stuff out of here can i since that's not a full bucket's worth can i take that water back now no i can't all right so we'll just do that and lose it yeah so and yes lots of my heads um I am no longer a member of the Zero Death Club, but let's see. Um, I have never been killed by anything except player. So was strictly for the purpose of getting the heads. So I'm still calling that good. We did get a lot of materials to work with, um, although we also could and did provide our own. Um, oh, that's a cartography table, I was wondering. So I guess some people might have done map stuff, I guess. Um, Ooh, frozen. Okay. Um, but yeah, you know, dyes and things, which that's, I need to put back. Uh, I don't think any of these are in here. There we go. Okay. Um, everything else is mine. Okay, so the other thing I need to do is some more work on this village because I really haven't been. I've been ignoring it. When I come over this way, it's been to use the um, the tree farm down below. Uh, I did bring over some of my farm animals from Central so that uh, not the llama 
you you just came here with a wandering trader but you know your like a Mueller who really needs a better name but you know it's what I got uh, and Moo Moo and Mimi but I need to make them some kind of like barn or paddock area or or something over here but I haven't quite figured out I think I might need to take this level down a little to make that work um, and I don't want to cut down any more trees. That's part of the point to making the tree farm down there. Um, I don't particularly want to mess with this pond either, although I might make pretty it up a little. But I'm sorry, do we have lava over there? Um, not that I knew of when I went over to light stuff up. If, can, can I get up here? There we go. What, what do we got going on over here? Cat, why, why are you following me? Okay, how do we get over there? Um, what? I'm sorry. Did that box just make noise? This was not here, because, you know, torches. I, I've been here. Um, there's a door. Okay, and there's berries, because of course there are. There's lots of berries. Um, uh, okay. Clearly not intended for people. Can I manage to go through? Okay, well, Fox has a name. And there's more than one of you. I, I see you over there. Is that a baby fox? Okay. Um. So. I, yeah, okay, fine. I, I should not have come in and explored. Got it. Uh, so apparently things are just going to keep randomly appearing, so that's fun. Um, and Strawberry, we're, you're over here somewhere. Why are you, you, yeah. Come on over this way. You're, you're supposed to be like over here somewhere. Yeah, there. Okay. Uh, right. So I, I need to figure out what I'm doing for a barn and hope that some other structure doesn't miraculously appear here. And possibly... You know, maybe I shouldn't go in there because I'm just going to end up dying to berries. But... I wonder if it'd be okay if I put like a collection system under there. Cause if they're just gonna leave the berries hanging around, then they're just gonna go to waste. And that's, you know, that's no good. Hmm. Let me think about that. While I also think about how we're doing a barn of some kind for y'all which doesn't have to be big there's not that many of you and i don't need a whole lot of you we don't need sheep over here because we've got a whole wool farm over at central just do like to have a few animals around especially pack animals even though we've got shulkers now you're still very handy to have which i suppose includes llamas just you know i would prefer that they you were not trader llamas I don't think I can change out your pattern there, but yeah, let's uh, let's give that some thought. And meanwhile, I'll jump in here and take a nap because it's getting dark. Okay, 
So if I'm going to try to put a collection system under here without disturbing them, I need to remember that this top level here, that is their ground floor. Um, I did grab myself a bed so we don't have creepers spawning out there while I work. Um, what's going to be interesting is figuring out, I mean, I can hear them right over my head, but when I'm under where I need to be, oh, there we go. All right, all right. This is hilarious how I can hear them. Yep, there's more floorboards back here. So it looks like this is a tail where I came in, probably. So that was fun. Um, apparently, when you're creating one of those hopper drop-off systems, um, and I used two different designs, um, the one that finally ended up staying is Mumbo Jumbo's, uh, but I will link both in the description box. But um, the, the big thing is there's a difference between a hopper going into a hopper and a hopper going into a chest in terms of timing and what that tells the comparator to do or whether it tells the comparator to do anything. Um, I, so I learned a thing. I'm not sure I know how to articulate the thing, but I learned a thing. If I'm trying to make a drop-off system like that, the first hopper has to go directly into a chest, even if that chest then funnels things into other chests. Yay! So now to get on with that barn which I did have to um, make some more changes than I had intended. Um, even though it's a small design, yes, I know we're restarting in 10 minutes. Um, this is a mythical sausage build, um, and it's just over one chunk in size. It's 17 by 17 in the overall footprint. Um, so the little pond that was here had to go away, and in the process I learned that it leads down to a big aquifer. So it's probably a good thing to not have it here so that nobody suddenly falls through. Um, and we have other water features in the village that can be printed up later. But yeah, 
right, so this is what I'm going to come back and build after the server restart. Hopefully in one shot, because it is a fairly simple design. And then these guys can go inside instead of just being all tied up to the fence here. And I should probably include a gate somewhere to make it easier to go over and uh, Okay, I think I think we've got it. Um, I didn't put the tower. I already feel like it's kind of too tall and I'm not sure how much use that second floor is really going to get, although I do like it. Um, so I, I just couldn't see putting a tower on top of it because it already towers over the rest of the village. Um, and it doesn't quite fit as well with the village as I had hoped, but it is at least using, you know, a lot of spruce, which is most of what we have here, and some cobble, uh, mixed in with some mossy cobble and a little tough here and there, because, you know, it's 1.18, got to include some 1.18 blocks. But um, I'm pretty happy with it, overall. What's interesting is I thought I was going to have to pressure plate some of that roof because of the slabbed um, parts being some of them are upper slabs. But apparently once I did the lighting, because I did two things, I did... Up here I put sea lanterns. And I don't think that part came out very well. And not all of these, every other. Um, I didn't texture up the ceiling quite as much as Mythical Sausage did. Um, again, partly because I just am not sure how much this will get used. This storage might end up being more decorative than functional. But that's okay. Um, and then I also, and I, I attempted to capture some of this, but did not succeed in doing so. I also added sea lanterns at some of these crossbeam points. And apparently, because of the slabs, that's enough light coming through in 1.18 at least to spawn proof the roof. So yay for not having to uh, pressure plate it. Um, could probably stand to do a little more texturing with the path. That is still not something I am super confident in. Um, what was... You're loud, dude. Okay. And I'm on edge because, you know, weird stuff's been happening. As you've seen. Speaking of, let's go check out how much the foxes have been... Uh, doing with the berries while I was doing all that. Yeah, they, they've been busy. They have been very busy. I mean, the fact that when I was initially doing work down here, before this was picking up anything, my frame rates were dropping to one frame per second tells you just how much, uh, how many berries were spinning around on the floor up there before. So um, I'm thinking the keepers will not only appreciate that those berries are not going to waste, but hopefully if they, I, I don't know to what extent they understand that for us, this is playing a game. We're, we're playing Minecraft and we're on a server. 
I, I, I don't know. I, yeah. Um, but hopefully if they understand all of that, they will also understand that we need to make sure there's not stuff spinning all over the place because lag. Now, I don't expect to spend so much time over here that this would be likely to go beyond three double chests. Um, but I do probably need to come up with, and that'll be another learning experience, an overflow option. Because if it backs up, I guess to this, then I would want it to come over here to compost. Um, but uh, Celestial knows how to do that because she's she's done that sort of if then else stuff with the uh, Guardian Farm. So I will ask her or Proteus to uh, help me figure that piece out. But in the meantime, let's head back out. I might pretty up this pond area too. That could be fun. Because, you know, I, I don't know what the deal is with, with the presumably the keepers having a giant fox with foxes living in it, but I feel like it could have a prettier pond. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I think that's it for now. Um, yeah, that, that is enough for one day. Or, well, it hasn't been one day. It's been a couple weeks. But for now, I will say goodbye. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending your time watching this video. Um, I really appreciate that you took the time to do that. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.